Hi welcome back to UA Technical Solutions. In this tutorial, we will learn how to install and use Train Tech View program for Chiller software installation, parameters monitoring, fault diagnostics and sensor binding functions. Please watch the full video to understand the process well. Some of the major functions offered by the Tech Viewer are as shown. Unite View, Status View, Setpoint View, Override View, Diagnostics View, Configuration, Software, Binding View All the feature will be explained further in the video. Following software must be installed before using the Tech View application. All software can be downloaded by using the shown website. As www.train.com slash commercial slash software slash tracer 530. Step 1. Create a folder on your drive C using the name CH530 download. Step 2. Open internet browser and go to the www.train.com slash commercial slash software slash tracer 530. Step 3. Click on the Tech View download and download the program into the folder we created on Drive C. Step 4. Click on the file marked with green arrow and download. Step 5. Click on the file named TV7.02 and download. Step 6. Click on the file marked with green arrow to download the main processor firmware download. Step 7. Now all the required software are downloaded let's start with the installation of TechView for RTHD chillers, run the file TV7.02 and select RTHD in the select product menu and click next. Step 8. Go to the CH530 folder which was created earlier and run the program named JRE14102.x. Step 9. Run the program name 6300-0347-07.x. Step 10. Run the program name 6200-0347-0200.xmp. All required programs are now installed in the computer. We can now move to start the tech view. There are two ways to start. One is to run using the shortcut on the desktop and second is by going to program files. Both are shown. To connect with Chiller run the tech view on computer and use RS2329 pin connector converter and connect the USB side to laptop and positive and negative wire on the processor board of the Chiller then click on the local connection to start the communication. After connecting the shown data can be accessed and viewed. Under the view tab following feature can be reviewed. Unit view, status view, setpoint view, manual override view, diagnostics, configuration, software, binding view. Under the option tab following features are available. Update chiller time, e, d data log, set sample rate. Language tab allows you to select the language. Units tab shows pressure and temperatures of the chiller. Reports tab used to create chiller reports. Control panel used to check unit status, chilled water, current limit, Compressor status and circuit status. Click on the view tab then click on the status then click on the chiller tab and you can see following data. Active chilled water set point. Active chilled water source. Active current set point. Active current source. EVP entering water temperature. EVP leaving water temperature. Chilled water pump relay. Chilled water flow switch. Condenser entering water temperature. Condenser leaving water temperature. Cooling water pump relay. Cooling water flow switch. Click on the view tab then click on the status then click on the circuit tab and you can see following data. Condenser refrigerant pressure, saturated condenser refrigerant temperature, condenser approach temperature, differential pressure, evaporator refrigerant pressure, saturated EVP refrigerant temperature, evaporator approach temperature, EXV position, steps. EXV position, percent, evaporator liquid level. 
Click on the View tab then click on the Status then click on the Compressor tab and you can see following data. Compressor Status. Run Time and Starts. Discharge Temp. Oil Loss Level Sensor. Compressor Oil Pressure. Oil Pressure Ratio. System Diff Pressure. Restart Inhibit Time. Phase Current. Average Phase Current. Average Phase Voltage. Maximum Phase Current. Click on the View tab then click on the Set Point View then click on the Chiller tab and you can see following data. Front Panel Chilled Water. Front Panel Current Limit. Differential to Start. Differential to Stop. Set Point Source. EVP Water Pump Delay. CDs Pump Pre-Start. EVP LVG Water Temp Cutout. Low RFGT Temp Cutout. CDs High RFGT Pressure. Restart Inhibit Free Start. Restart Inhibit Diagnostic. Head Relief Relay Filter Time. Click on the View tab then click on the Set Point View then click on the Feature Setting tab and you can see following data. Chilled Water Reset. Reset Ratio. Start Reset. Max Reset. External CWS. External CLS. Ice Buoyding Feature. External Base Loading. Capacity Control Soft Load Time. Current Limit Control Soft Load Time. Current Limit Soft Load Start. Over, under voltage protection. Click on the View tab then click on the Set Point View then click on the Condenser Head Pressure tab and you can see following data. Off State, Output CMD. Output Voltage Min Flow. Desired Min Flow. Output Voltage Max Flow. Actuator Stroke Time. Damping Coefficient. Click on the View tab then click on the Diagnostics tab and you can access and rest current and previous alarms and reset all active diagnostics. Thanks for watching please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions.